rally round the exciting all-new Camaro and tap the one million car market potential for sport-type automobiles with the sportiest new one of all, the 1967 Camaro. First, let's take a look at the potential market opportunities. Focus on features that spell sales success, and then zero in on Camaro's competitive advantages over Mustang. Your market sales potential is almost unlimited. Camaro buyers will come from all age, income, and education groups. But to be more specific, current marketing trends indicate that about 60% of the Camaro buyers will be under 35 years of age, and about one-fourth less than 25 years old. You'll find this potential market anywhere people go for the fun and excitement of youth. And one of the best spots is on the college campus. Almost 50% of the Camaro buyers will have attended college, and the low price and sporty styling make Camaro unnatural for student transportation needs. However, youth isn't a necessary requirement for owning the Camaro. Prospects who have had to settle for an ordinary car in the past will be attracted to the distinctive Camaro styling and will appreciate the roomy interior and generous luggage space. Also, Camaro is an ideal vehicle for the housewife's many errands or as a second car for the man of the house. 25% of the Camaro buyers will already own two or more cars, but their Camaros will be personalized transportation. Also, career women, teachers, housewives, they're all buying and influencing the purchase of cars more than ever before and could be up to 40% of your Camaro market. Be sure to keep this market in mind, along with the dynamic youth market, the economy car market, and the rapidly expanding multi-car market. You should prospect across the board to take full advantage of Camaro's universal sales appeal. And when you find your next Camaro customer, focus his attention on Camaro's 108-inch wheelbase, wide stance, and low center of gravity, which produce the same sure-footed stability that keeps an outstanding football player moving against his opponent rather than being pushed back. And Sell Camaro's independent coil spring front suspension and monoplate rear springs that virtually eliminate harsh metal-to-metal -metal contact. Then emphasize Camaro's integral body frame construction. A heavy reinforced underbody is a firm foundation for the all-steel body, which features double panel hood, doors, and deck lid for maximum strength. Other quality features include inner fender skirts that act as umbrellas to keep water, mud, and slush from the inner side of the fenders, flush and dry rocker panels that work like hot air furnace ducts to eliminate inner panel corrosion from moisture, and rubber body mounts throughout the engine body suspension construction that take the direct metal-to-metal -metal body noise and dampens it to deliver quiet passenger comfort, free from road noise vibration. But you have even more to sell. Camaro can be fashioned and tailored to everyone's individual taste, personalized to suit the personality. Camaro offers an array of options and custom features to deliver all the style, all the luxury and comfort, and all the performance any new car buyer could want. For style, options include the Style Trim Group, the Rally Sport Option, the SS 350 Option, wheel trim covers, vinyl roof covering, and a host of other popular options and custom features. For luxury and comfort, sell options like the special interior group, the custom interior, the fold-down rear seat back, the center floor console, the appearance guard group, the auxiliary lighting group, and many others. Then, for performance, Camaro customers can go from an optional 155 horsepower six-cylinder engine to the 350 cubic inch 295 horsepower V8 engine. And they can also choose four speed manual and power glide transmissions. Posit traction, power brakes, power steering, front disc brakes, and special instrumentation. Yes, Camaro gives you a lot to sell in 1967. A lot of style, a lot of luxury and comfort, and a lot of performance. How does it stack up against competition? You'll see that Camaro more than matches competition as we look at the 1967 Camaro and 1967 Mustang side by side.
Feature for feature. Notice the clean, uncluttered Camaro front treatment with a full-width, three-dimensional plastic grill design and integrated lights. A Mustang has a much busier front-end appearance with the headlights mounted outboard and a flatly designed grill. This difference is further emphasized when the Rally Sport option is added to Camaro with the headlights concealed behind the sweeping grill and the parking and signal lights relocated in the valance panel. The Camaro has the look of a sophisticated sportster. Mustang retains the snow scoop headlights and hidden hard to see turn signal lights even with the GT equipment option. Around back the styling story is much the same, with Camaro exhibiting clean, elegant lines with single unit tail lights and slim bumper. Mustang has a total of eight individual light units, in addition to a large chrome gas filler cap and thick bumper, adding up to a heavy rear look. With Camaro, the metal is shaped and formed to eliminate mud, snow, and ice catchers, as well as corrosion causing pockets as much as possible. For example, there are no mud, snow, and ice gathering pockets around the headlights, as there are with the Mustang. In addition, the sides of the Camaro are smooth and clean, whereas the Mustang has the stuck-on side air scoops, which are ideal corrosion forming areas. Also, the built-in turn signals on the hood of the Mustang, with the optional exterior decor group, are corrosion forming areas. Camaro's trunk has an extra solid floor. The Mustang trunk floor is actually the top of the gas tank. In addition, a section of the filler pipe is rubber hose that could be punctured or broken easily. Inside, the driver design Camaro instruments and warning lights are positioned for quick, easy viewing. Mustang instruments are spread out in a staggered two-level pattern that makes them harder to read. More interior room gives the Camaro an important plus over Mustang. Note, Mustang uses a limited amount of upholstery on the sidewalls. Extra stowage space is available on all Camaros with their folding rear seat. Now, this option is available only on the Mustang 2 Plus 2. Front wheel disc brakes are identified on Camaro by distinctive hubcaps and wheel trim rings. This is important to an owner who wants everyone to know he has something special. Mustang uses standard wheel covers. In performance, it's all Camaro with a wide stance 59 inch front wheel tread delivering a sure-footed ride and excellent steering response. Mustang, even with a two inch increase in wheel tread in 1967, is still an inch less and that inch can make a big difference while cornering. The story is the same for the rear wheel tread with Camaro almost an inch wider and Camaro has additional suspension advantages. For instance, Camaro features monoplate rear springs uniformly stressed over their entire length for extra durability and with no leaves to rub against one another they require no maintenance and are quiet. Mustang multi-leaf rear springs are noisy and are apt to develop a set after the mileage piles up. Also, Camaro leads with 15 power team combinations available. Camaro can supply the right engine transmission combination to meet any driving need or requirement. Mustang with only 13 power teams is even further behind when you compare engines. The standard Camaro engine is a 140 horsepower 6 with an optional 155 horsepower 6 also available. Mustang's only offering in this economy class is a 120 horsepower 6 as standard and no optional 6 available. Camaro offers 210, 275, and 295 horsepower V8s. Mustang has 200, 225, 271, and 320 horsepower V8s. Every Camaro engine is available with a 3-speed manual, a 4-speed manual, or power glide transmission while Mustang buyers must buy an optional extra cost four speed or automatic with the 271 horsepower V8 Mustang engine. Now what's more, Mustang buyers can't get a four speed manual transmission with the six cylinder engine. And of course, Mustang does not offer an optional three speed heavy duty floor mounted transmission. In addition, Camaro offers 
more rear axle ratios than Mustang to make better use of available power. And the Camaro's rear axles and engines result in other performance advantages. For instance, at 60 miles per hour cruising speed, the Camaro six-cylinder engine turns at a lower revolutions per mile than Mustang's six-cylinder engine. Now that's comparing the standard six-cylinder engines with three-speed manual transmissions and standard rear axle ratios. Now this means that there's less wear with the Camaro 6 for longer life plus better fuel economy. Camaro has more brake lining area. Brake lining area is 168.9 square inches on all Camaro models. Now Mustang has only 131 square inches on six-cylinder models and 154.7 square inches on V8 models. Camaro also has bonded brake linings which have longer life than Mustang's riveted type. Camaro has many major body advantages over Mustang, such as extra weight and strength, magic mirror acrylic lacquer finish, flush and dry exterior rocker panels, and inner front fender skirts. And Camaro is the only car in its class with a separate front chassis unit that is rubber isolated from the body. Now, that's just one big reason why Camaro's ride is much quieter and more comfortable than Mustang's. You know the potential markets for the new Camaro, its exclusive sales features, and Camaro's advantages over Mustang. So show, demonstrate, and sell Camaro, and watch your sales grow as everyone will rally round Camaro in 1967.